Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to set up Flutter in uh, Android Studio. So open your Android Studio and click on this little gear here uh, called Configure and click on Plugins. And uh, here in uh, go to the marketplace and search for Flutter. So here is the uh, top one. Click on install and it says the flutter plugin requires dart plugin to be installed okay so click on install and it will install the flutter and dart plugin uh, say at the same time Okay, so uh, the Flutter and Dart plugin are installed and now we have to restart our Android Studio. So click on Restart IDE and click on uh, Restart. So it will restart our Android Studio. Okay, now you can see uh, here create new Flutter project. So our plugins are installed correctly and uh, we just have to click on it and click on uh, flutter application and click on next and here we uh, we need to uh, we need to specify the uh, flutter sdk path so uh, for flutter sdk uh, if you uh, if you have uh, an option here uh, for install the flutter sdk or install the sdk so you simply click on that and it will install the flutter and dart sdk on uh, your computer and if you don't have any option here so uh, you can do it manually you just simply go to your browser and search for flutter.dev and click on get started and from here you can choose your operating system uh, i'm on linux so i will click on it and i will uh, download it from here and here are the other methods you can directly download it from uh, you can uh, clone the repository of letter or you can download it by uh, using the uh, terminal if you are using Linux on your machine and if you are uh, a window user so you have to click on windows and you can download it from here and here are all the instructions uh, you can set the path and uh, install the flutter sdk in your uh, windows machine so here i will uh, click on linux and i have already downloaded it so i will go to my home and i will go to downloads and here i have downloaded it so i will uh, simply open it and i will extract it in my android folder which is in the home directory so uh, i will click on extract and i will choose the home and android as you, you can see uh, i have android sdk here so i will put the flutter sdk here uh, <coughs> you can put it everywhere but you you will have to remember that path so i will click on extract and it will extract the file on the android folder okay i will close it and uh, uh, let me close this so if i go to home folder and control plus h and if you are on linux so open this file and uh, in the last you have to uh, put this path here okay i already put it here and uh, here you have to put your uh, path for flutter sdk so this is our path you can see it and this is the home soft coding android flutter and uh, you can uh, uh, write the bin in last okay so i have already put it uh, here and now when i go to android studio and i click on create flutter app and click on next 
Oh, okay guys so here we have our project name so I will name it uh, letter A demo and here you can uh, specify your uh, SDK path uh, for your flutter so I will uh, click on this and I have uh, extracted the flutter in inside the Android folder so I will select it and I will click OK and here we have uh, error that the flutter SDK installation is incomplete so if you get this error so don't worry about it and just open your terminal and uh, enter flutter doctor and hit enter so uh, it will download the dart sdk flow uh, from flutter engine and it will take some time so you have to wait for it uh, to finish the download Okay, so the downloading is complete and we have to open it again and it again says that Flutter is case installation is complete so let's try closing and open it again and we will close the Android studio and uh, open it again okay and now click on create new flutter project and select flutter application and here you have to select the sdk path where your flutter sdk is and click ok so as you can see now we have no error and our flutter sdk is uh, set up uh, correctly so i will name it uh, demo and i will click next and uh, from here you can give uh, a package name and uh, you can uh, imp uh, add the support for uh, Kotlin uh, for Android code and uh, include Swift support for iOS code. So if you don't want to add uh, uh, Swift support or Kotlin support, so you can uncheck it. So I will uh, simply check the Kotlin and click on finish. And uh, now our first project will be created. Okay, so as you can see our project is fully set up and you can uh, start writing code uh, here for your Flutter application and that's it guys for this video and if you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Okay.